When cops start on the job, we tend to get issued with a radio and a shoulder mic. These two things work in concert to allow us to talk to each other without having to grab the radio and manually use it. Now, there's some areas that just use the radio and do manually hit the push to talk, holding it up to our faces. That's not the best system in the world. In fact, I could make strong arguments that that's a very poor system to be using, and the places that allow that should really think otherwise. However, these two things, the shoulder mic and the radio, can allow you to have better interactions, and they clip together pretty easily. Most of them just have a clip and then either a screw down on the side or a screw that you put down on the top in order to lock this in so it can't easily unclip from you. So that way you always have your shoulder mic and your radio attached to your body. This goes on your belt. This either gets clipped on your lapel or if you're in the wise, you clip it to the center placket on the middle of your vest or your shirt. Normally when we start off this way, people do really well with this. The system works fantastically, and until they realize that there is feedback, most cops are happy with it. Those that have a problem with realizing when they're in close proximity to another radio, or have other employees at their work that do not understand how to turn their radio off, or turn their radio down when they're in the car or in close proximity with you, never really have a problem with the system. For those that do, normally really early on, they run about earpieces. Now earpieces are a great little invention that allows us to listen without everyone else hearing what we're saying. Most guys don't learn about that early, though. It normally takes between five and eight years for someone to get turned on to the idea of an earpiece, and it's for the tactical applications of using an earpiece, not because of the feedback. The feedback can be managed pretty easily, but this is a really fast solution for it for people who are brand new on the job. Now, for those who are in that five to eight to ten year range, they start looking at the earpiece, and normally it's because they get into a fight with someone who heard that they had a nationwide extradition homicide warrant or something similar to that over the radio after they ran their name. So they run their name on the radio and then it comes back, oh yeah, he's got a nationwide blah 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 warrant, yada 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 yada, and then all of a sudden the fight's on and they weren't ready for the fight. The other guy knew he probably had a warrant when he heard it, he knew it was going down before they did. So they decide, I'm gonna get an earpiece. Now this is a listen-only earpiece. Now this earpiece is from a company called Comgear Supply. It's got a couple little party tricks that we'll talk about closer to the end. They sent this to me so that I could talk a little bit about why we use earpieces on the video. The real advantage for those cops that are already good at their job and don't have the feedback issue is that the bad guy's not going to hear. You know, the people we interact with are not going to hear that radio message coming back that, hey, that guy's got a warrant or, you know, this person has this type of caution, that type of caution. So it allows our communications with dispatch or with each other to be secure, at least on our end, especially when we're alone. And that's when we most need to be careful with what information we allow people to know so that we can plan what we're going to do in the next few minutes, especially if backup is a ways away. The other ancillary positives to an earpiece are that the earpiece allows us to get way more life out of our radio. On an average shift, my radio without an earpiece will get about eight hours. With the radio on and me using it normally and speaking in a normal tone and receiving normal responses back in a fairly loud environment. I can expect this to run for eight hours and do everything that I needed to do if I'm out, say, like directing traffic next to an expressway. Toward the end of the shift, it might start chirping, but I can normally make it till the end. With the earpiece, I can get a solid two days out of this regardless of the circumstances that I'm in. So it almost doubles the life, the battery life of the radio under normal use. It also allows when you're in a pursuit and you're trying to monitor lots of different channels, the one channel that you're listening to on your portable radio to be pumped straight into your head in only one ear because you're only listening through this one little tube. This means that I can have Isper and Eileen, the state police radio, whatever, running in the car, and then my primary channel 
running in my ear and I can listen to my boss and the dispatcher from the state police or the helicopter or whatever else that's on Ispern or Eileen, and I can listen to both of them and I can have a differentiation in my head. I'm hearing this one through both ears, the car radio, and this one only through this one ear, and I can turn this up or down depending on what I want to listen to, and so that I can monitor more channels more easily than I would be able to if I was listening to them straight out of the radio. Now this works really well for people who use an earpiece, really, really well, and they normally love it right up until the time that the earpiece breaks. Uh, generally speaking, my lifespan on a good quality earpiece is about two months. I tend to break these things, as I've said on the channel a whole bunch before, in 18 years of law enforcement, I, I break a lot, a lot of stuff. And you've got a lot of little tiny pieces inside of these, especially the area that the wire to your shoulder mic hooks in with the resonator on here, it has tend to break or get ripped up when you're fighting with people. And that's the party trick of this particular earpiece and why I have allowed this to be the centerpiece of the video about why we use earpieces, because this one I've had for about six months and hasn't broken. They also offer a warranty and discounts for police and military and all of that. And that's great, but at 3 a.m. on the side of the road, none of that really matters. What matters is that the equipment is going to work when I need it. This is a listen-only earpiece, and it is designed to work with my Motorola mic here. So it's a 3.5 millimeter jack goes on the side. I plug it in, and then I clip this to my lapel and I run the wire behind my patch on my uniform and then from there this can plug right into my ear on the side of my head and it pumps the radio traffic directly into my head so I can I can listen more easily. There's other little pieces. This one's my favorite because it allows me to hear what else is going on out in the world and also get it the radio traffic right in there because it's not using as much power like I said you, you save a lot of battery life. Now these things come with a bunch of little adapters for different people's ears. I'll show you a couple of them now so you kind of know what you're getting into if you're thinking about using an earpiece on the job. Uh, this one comes with a couple sizes of these little in-ear ones that I've shown you and then it's got some different size plugs that go in your head that literally plug off being able to hear out of the ear that you're using it in. I don't prefer these because I want to keep situational awareness, but I could totally see where on a job site, this might be, especially a very loud job site, this might be something that you'd really want to have. If you're going to use something like this for construction or highway maintenance or something like that, where the situational awareness of people talking to you on both sides of your head isn't as important, but the ability to actually hear what's going on on the radio is. I think that the reason that this one has lasted me so long is, oddly enough, it's just this little metal structure here that supports the cable on the side. So you can see I can kind of pull it off of there. And then all of these are replaceable pieces if they do break. You can get the little tube unlocked out of here. And then, so if this gets into a, you get into a fight with somebody and this rips off, you can just cut the tubing and plop it back down on these little spines on there, or you can replace the whole thing and get spare parts for it. So if it does break, it's easy enough to fix, and the terminations on these are built a little beefier than they have been in past iterations of earpieces that I've used. Normally, after the earpiece breaks, the guy goes back to just using his shoulder mic and either gives up on the tactical advantage or decides that, you know, well, maybe I can just learn to turn my radio down or stay away from the people on my shift that can't turn their radio down. And then they forget about them pretty much forever, which is the situation that I found myself in. When I had five, six years on the job, I went and got an earpiece. Actually, you know what? That's a lie. When I was brand new, I couldn't learn about keeping my radio down, and we had the same channel running in the cars on our shoulder mics, and I was constantly getting feedback, the loud, screechy feedback that pisses everybody else on your shift off. So I had an earpiece for a little while, and then it broke, and I gave up on it. And then a few years later, I remembered, oh, you know what would be really cool is to have the earpiece again, because people then couldn't hear me sneaking up on them on calls. I do an awful lot of sneaking and peeking, especially showing up on domestics, outside domestics, if I can sneak up on the person and I can kind of hear what the two people are arguing about, it really helps me be able to differentiate how this interaction is going to go and who the real perpetrator and instigator is on the domestic. 
So I really liked it for a while and then it broke again, the one that I had and I got rid of it and started going back to the shoulder mic and for a long time I made the joke with people like, well yeah, the earpieces are great, they normally last right until they break because I had two experiences with using them until they broke and then breaking and then giving up on it. So Com Gear Supply contacted me six, seven months ago and asked me if I would try one of their earpieces, the listen only one that would interact with my radio and I could use it on the street. And I said, yeah, yeah, I've used these before. They all tend to break. And they said, ours won't break. And if it does, we've got this great warranty. And I said, okay, cool, send it out. And I used it for a while. And to my surprise, other than having to cut the tube a little short uh, because I got into a fight with a guy and ended up ripping the earpiece out of the tube, cut it sh a little shorter and plugged it back in and it started working again, I really haven't any problems. The big advantage to the listen-only earpiece, especially the wired listen-only earpieces, is that when you're wearing this, if something did go wrong with the earpiece, if you realize this would come pulled off of here or broken or something like that, you just unplug the three and a half millimeter jack and then your shoulder mic comes right back to life. So when you plug this in, it automatically shuts off. When you unplug it, it comes right back and operates the same way it did before. So that's a, that's a big advantage for durability and reliability in my book, and that's the way I would go with it. There are Bluetooth versions of earpieces and Bluetooth versions of shoulder mics. We had not look at those too much right now. There's a couple of them that I have out there on long-term review if you're interested in that type of thing. Make sure you subscribe to Free Field Training. If you're interested in this earpiece and ex exactly what it is, there's going to be links and all of that down in the description down below. Until next week, you guys be safe. Take care of each other and, and be careful for that feedback. It's really pissing the dispatchers off. That's been your free field training for today. While you're here, uh, check out one of the other videos that we made or down here, subscribe so you can see more. Or you could check out Patreon where you can see how you can get your name put on the videos like all these fine folks over here. I'll see you guys next time.